seeing slow uh, traffic conditions here because of the snow. As this front has been moving through the Wasatch Front, it originally had its intensity where there were snow squall warnings in effect as it moved from Box Elder into Weber County. But tracking through Davis into Salt Lake Valley, we mentioned as we talk about the power outages where you got to have the winds and the heavy snow. We're getting the heavy snow, not high density, but we're not seeing the strong, strong winds that we saw like last night. So we're not seeing that snow coming in sideways, which could provide for whiteout conditions. It's mainly just coming down, but sticking to the roads and it is posing problems where as we take a look at some of the wind gusts here along on the Wasatch Front as we go from Layton through Farmington, we're seeing wind gusts upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour. Yesterday, though, it was more of 30 to 40, even 45 miles per hour. So less winds, meaning that we're not categorizing this front right now as a snow squall. We do not have any snow squall warnings in effect, but we've got the snow and we've got the cold, and we definitely will be looking at treacherous road conditions moving here for the rest of the commute. Now, in St. George, you got the sunshine. It's cold, mid 40s right now, but you're going to see some snow. As we look towards early Thursday morning, the snow falling in downtown Salt Lake City piling up. We've got upper 20s with those winds out of the northwest. It feels like we're in the teens where many locations getting down into the single digits for overnight loads. It's going to be a chilly night. In addition, from the National Weather Service, we've extended or expanded the area of coverage with the winter weather advisory pushing towards west central southwestern Utah because this next front will be pushing the snow further southward as we'll see the impact here mainly across northern Utah moving through central Utah in the late evening hours then overnight tracking through the south. Now with the possibility of a snow squall again those winds could pick up but really as it moves through the Salt Lake Valley as it's losing strength as that front kind of interacts with some of the mountain ranges there it looks like possibly seeing that front tracking through Utah County. So you're going to be looking at if you're moving further south along I-15 from Salt Lake Valley through Point of the Mountain into areas such as Provo you're just going to be following the snow as it's piling up right Right now, now with this storm and looking for uh, snow accumulations heading into tomorrow morning, we're looking on a range of six to 15 inches for the mountains coming off of last night's anywhere from eight to 12 inches, three to seven inches for the Wasatch back. Looking at some of the valley locations, it's three to eight inches with maybe potentially a little bit more for the benches. As this storm will track further south, moving through Cedar City, we could potentially look anywhere between two to three inches for valley locations across southern Utah and more for the mountains. There's position of the front producing the snow in incorporating and looking over towards Tooele, Salt Lake and Utah counties right now. And then we're going to continue to see a supply of moisture. It's going to be a snow flow here for northern Utah where on and off snow showers heading into Friday, Saturday and then another front hitting late Saturday night through Sunday. It's just going to pile up where we can see additional snow accumulations of three to eight inches for the valleys and 20 to 30 inches for the mountains over the next several days. Now we'll see that snow going up until about nine o'clock, a little break up through midnight. Then the possibility with this colder air coming across the lake, lake effect snow bands. Definitely a good chance of seeing that developing in the overnight hours. And with that, the direction of where we see those snow bands across the west side of Salt Lake Valley, it might be a little bit further east, but all in all, we're going to be seeing a cold night. Single digits for overnight lows in Park City. It looks like single digits to teens as you go anywhere between Richfield and Cedar City. Tomorrow, we'll see that snow early across southern Utah. Then it's tracking towards southeastern Utah. We'll hang on with the snow on and off for the valley floors, and especially throughout the mountains here across northern Utah. 41 with that early snow for St. George, then you're drying out and warming up. Slight chance of maybe seeing some sprinkles on Sunday, but all in all, the storm's pushing away. Northern Utah, the storm's not moving away. It continues on with that snow lingering on through the weekend up until Tuesday. And then finally, we get a break, but not a break from the cold, as we'll see those temperatures only in the 20s.